and you test number 57.5. So, this remains the same, so does this, and it looks like nothing's changed, but, well, I mean, besides the screws, but I took out the 7002 t that I was using originally. This is it. You can see the light that's inside and the wires, and yeah, it's a mess because apparently I can't run this light along with the terminals right there, the terminal block, and I'm pretty sure that's because of the power, how much power this outputs, and it's almost like the, I don't know, just some issue, so. Um, not really much else to say other than I need to. I'm going to change the coding to March time for this one, even though this sounds odd. And we're going to begin. So. I forgot to turn up the fan. I'm going to try to make this quick. Here we go. In three, two, one. That is very loud. We'll key activate this, which is actually just flipping the switch. Now we're gonna do code three. Yeah, I know, like I said, I'm kind of repeating what I did in that mini test. This was the Pyrotronics HSD-24, which by the way, that actually went to a friend of mine. Hi Raven. Three, two, one. now to wrap this up continuous no I'm not gonna go out for this one just because I got to make it quick I apologize and no not California code California code is just like continuous just annoying you get that pause but it's still annoying let's pull the T bar let's pull the uh, 27 AS SPL three Two, one, yeah. Oi. Very, very loud. Okay. I'll consider that the final reset. And that concludes it for mini test number 37.5. Let's turn down the fan. Hope you guys enjoyed. For the devices we had, well, the same from the last mini test, 57. 2708-SPO, WST-24, and my Wheelock 7002T on the SFP-R trim plate. This 7002T was made in 1986. So was this one. 1992. Yeah, I know there's a little bit of an age gap. And 1989. So, again, thanks for watching.